Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel SAP Networks. Today's session, I am going to explain about an important topic in accounts payable and accounts receivable called SAP netting. So we can call it the same as offsetting entries between vendor and customer line items. So when we can do the net off. In SAP, we can do the net off between same business partners. That means sometimes vendor act as a customer and same business partner act as a vendor for a company. So this is one of the main scenario for netting off between vendor and customer balances. Now let's go to the business scenario. Business transactions with its business partners where it is procured materials and services from business partners and the sales and services to same business partners. That means if you are procuring some materials from some business partners and the same way we are taking the services from same business partners. In such a scenario, it owes money and it is liable to pay to business partners. So in this case, like the partners, like business partners can be the same. Otherwise, we cannot do the netting. Now let's go to the prerequisite for the SAP network. SAP netting. The prerequisite can be the vendor master and customer master data, control data. We need to make configure in the vendor master record the business partner which are taking the services. You can see the field, field like you can see the field. In the vendor master record, we have maintained the custom which we are taking the services. And the same way, we will take, we will maintain customer master record, the field as vendor. That means we have merged vendor as customer and customer as a vendor in the master records both the master records apart from these two we need to maintain one of the important checkbox as a prerequisite that is clearing with vendor that means when the <coughs> customer we receive the payments so we are automatically clearing vendor accounts also and it is vice versa for vendor master also you can see the difference here clear with vendor in customer master and the same way clearing with vendor in customer master and one more important thing in the configuration we need to check is document type for the vendor payment document and customer payment document the both checkbox should be activated Otherwise, we cannot do the netting off for vendor and customers. <coughs> now, let's go to the system. I am going to create one vendor master record. I am going to transaction FK01. For creating my vendor SM Enterprises and I'm going to give the important feeds.
I'm creating my vendor master record. So the payment data will come after some time. I will show like what is the fields it will appear. Just I'm going to create now the same way. Customer master. Go to customer master. SM IT solutions street second. I'm just taking as an example. I'm giving the important fields. Recreators payment transactions. I'm giving immediate. Yeah. Now let's go to the vendor master. We have now created one basic vendor and one basic customer. Now I'm going to the vendor master record which I have created. Till I didn't maintain my vendor as customer in my vendor master record. You can see in the payments there is no such kind of checkbox like I can clear with vendor or can be a customer clear with customer now I'm going back I'm selecting I'm going to my control record I'm selecting here you can see here SM IT solutions is my customer system is you can see like system is giving warning message I'm just going one more time just selecting here SM IT solutions some IT solutions some IT solutions you can see currently not reference will be updated automatically okay let's go here and you can see here there is one checkbox clearing with customers in this way I have completed my configuration just save it Now I have completed my vendor master configuration and same way you go to general data. See it's, you can see like automatically when I linked the vendor is linked with customers. You can come here, go to company code data, payment transactions. You can click clearing with vendor. By this I have completed my configuration for as vendor as customers now I have completed with my master data now let's go and check with the document types since I am clearing with vendor as a customer so I need to check as a prerequisite I need to check as a prerequisite for my vendor payment whether the customer and vendor checkboxes are activated for vendor document and the same way you can check for customer payment also here my customer and vendor documents types are checked now come back and now let's start with line item creation every 60 I'm just creating one transaction here SM enterprises I'm posting with the today's date posting with the today's date The purchases I'm going to create with the, the version local value and I'm selecting my cost center since it's a mandatory simulate post it now you can go to same way for customer also I'm going to post one of simple transaction for since transaction for my customer 
and I'm posting with the today's date. As you can see, we object test mandatory. I'm going to fill the required field with profit center. Simulate, save it. Document is created. Now go to vendor master line item display with the transaction FBL one and. So defaultly, I'm going to check first with my vendor account balances. <coughs> I have created with 1000 INR for my vendor invoice. You can see here 1000 invoices created. And if you click the button customer items also, you can see both the line items for the vendor. How much we have to pay and how much we have to receive. Click on execute. Here you can see the vendor invoice for 1000 and customer invoice for 1500 and the balance left is 500. Let's go to the customer master. Same way, go to the transaction, your bill 5N and execute first customer receivable. It's a 1500 and if you click on vendor line items, it will show the actual payment we have to receive. So you can see here vendor invoice and customer invoice both. Now let's go for the <coughs> clearing. The transaction we use for vendor clearing is F-53. I'm just going to the date, same date. I'm going to clear. I'm just nutting off my Vendor balances with a customer balance so that the only open item will be appear in my line item display. So I'm going to select with my clearing and I'm going to clear with 1000. Here, the one, one of the important logic is for vendor, you have to select the customer which you're going to knock off or offsetting. Click the customer, SMIT solutions. I'm just clicking on other accounts. Go to open item display. Here I'm going to select actually the vendor I'm going to offset or netting off. Provide the company code with the line item is posting. And click on standard open items click on continue and you can select the line item which are going to knock off save it document is posted and now go to same way for customer incoming payment also go to the transaction Provide the bank account and provide the item line item value which you are going to knock off. And here, as I told, you have to provide the vendor, vendor document type, and you are going to knock off with customer document type. You can select. our vendor click on other items go to open item here you have to select the customer which are going to net off provide the company code click on open item standard open item click on continue you can see here the difference so the difference, the difference will be the 5000. That means it will come as open. Save it. Provide the 